Hello everyone, I hope you're doing so well and having an amazing holiday week. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I hope you're having super fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. Also, thank you so much for incredible comments on my last video and I have a few paintings to show you this week. I'm super excited and one print. Oh, I can't wait. Um, also, just as a thing, I have been making slow progress so it's not a great deal to show you but two paintings that you haven't seen before. Incidentally, I hope I look a bit better in terms of the lighting because I turned my ring light down a bit because I did get a comment ages ago that I should turn my ring light down because my face looked too sort of lit up um, and I kept thinking in the back of my mind I need to actually turn it down but when I start filming sometimes I just don't get a chance to do it and then it's like halfway through and I just think maybe I should do it next time and then I never do do it so, <laughs> so hopefully the ring light is better but I actually am looking at myself in the viewfinder and I think it looks exactly the same. Answers on a postcard, what do you think? So I have discovered something incredible and that is the zoom lens on my camera. So I'm going to zoom in for once instead of just like going really close up to the camera because if you go really close to the camera lens it actually foreshortens your face. So I'm going to use the zoom lens. You see I know everything about cameras, it's only taken me like years and years to figure this out. And we are officially zoomed in and here is the first painting I'd like to show you. This is all of a cat by the sea and um, I started working on this quite recently but I got so carried away with it that I just couldn't wait to work on the next layer. Top secret, the first layer wasn't fully dry like the underpainting and I just thought I can't wait so I just started working on the rest of it. I don't really advise that with oil painting because sometimes if you do that, if the under layer is not dry or any layer is not dry before you start painting on it, um, what can happen is your paint can drag uh, across the panel or canvas and it can be like really frustrating to make the paint spread properly. Also the paint underneath can lift off which is even worse because then you start to see like sort of either the layer underneath or just like the white canvas. Luckily, I was really really fortunate because I had used um, some fast drying paints underneath for my underpainting. I used burnt umber which is really really fast drying so it was not wet it was tacky so I got away with it. I got away with it. So yes yeah, so this is all about the cat that's like by the sea and it's this really kind of magical cat that can predict like the sort of the sea waves and I don't know if you can see but it's got like this amazing um like walking stick thing and I, this was going to be a compass but it ended up being like this prophesizing jewel. <laughs> so um, and I don't know if you can see the boat, uh, the galleon, really far in the distance and I'm really looking forward to painting the water and uh, all of the rest of it. This is really super wet though now so any hope of me working on this tomorrow is really out the window. So sad but in a couple of days I will be back on it. I can't wait. You know I said that zooming in was a great idea but I don't think it's focusing very well. <laughs> So, it wasn't as great a plan as I thought. Um, here we have another painting, of course, of another frog. This is a frog that is playing croquet. And um, something amazing about frogs, I think, their facial expressions, they always look so kind of not only regal, but just sort of almost like disdainful. And I thought, what's a really sort of fancy sport they could be playing? And I just love playing croquet. I'm absolutely rubbish at it. And I've, I've featured croquet in quite a few paintings in the past. And so I thought, you know, if, I don't think I've painted a frog playing croquet though. So I thought, this is it, this is my opportunity. Actually, if you get the ball through the hoop, somehow that feeling of importance is unmatched. It almost feels as though you have achieved a great milestone in your life. And so <laughs> I wanted to paint this frog looking, you know, pretty pleased with himself. He's managed to get the ball through several of these hoops. Who he's playing with, of course, is a mystery. I did paint, um, I did show this underpainting in a previous video where I had another frog somewhere here. And I kept saying, oh, I'm going to finish this, even though the painting looks so overcrowded. And, you know, this time I'm going to, you know, work through it and it's going to be great. Well, I almost gave up on it. I thought, you know what, it's too crowded. I need to destroy the other frog, which is a shame because I did like the interaction between the two of them. But he got wiped out. He got wiped out in the big cull of this painting could end up being a disaster so he was destroyed. I'm, a, I'm afraid. I got quite attached to him but he's gone I'm afraid. So here we have just a solitary frog but his friend 
in the story of this painting is sort of somewhere behind behind the bush and you know trying to knock a few balls through other hoops so finally out of the frog situation we have the blueberry soup frog i've spoken about this frog so many times i think everyone on my channel who watches regularly must be so bored and fed up of me talking about this this frog is drinking his blueberry soup and hiding in a bush <laughs> because he doesn't want to share it um and this is for all the people out there who like frogs and who don't like sharing food <laughs> finally we have a print now i'm gonna do like sort of lots of Q and A's and film reviews and all kinds of fun things in my next future videos. In my future videos, um, I just haven't got round to planning anything because, as I say, I've just been very tired with the holiday sort of things going on. But um, and also because I had the flu for a while, cold slash flu. I mean, I don't really know what it was. Some kind of disgusting germ disease thing that lasted like a couple of weeks. Anyway. Thankfully it's gone, but it, I felt like it lasted a bit longer than two weeks. It was kind of like dragging on a bit um, and it was really annoying because I, I felt like I couldn't really think of things even less so than, all, than normal. You know? Here's a print that is actually in my shop now, yay! And um, I really wanted to show it to you because this is pretty much the first print that is in my store. Uh, I do have another print, a postcard size, that I haven't put in there yet. Um, and I also have... Um, a wood pin which I showed on my, in my last video and once again that isn't in my store yet because I'm waiting for backing boards or rather I need to actually order some backing boards. Once I get the backing boards sorted out and once I get some small packaging for them, the wood pins they will be launching in my store and I cannot wait, I cannot wait, I'm so excited. So here is the print and um, I got it on, this is of a froggy that I painted quite some time ago now actually. I have great affectionate feelings for this frog because he's playing the violin and I used to play the violin and I just always think animals playing in musical instruments just wonderful and magical. And um, this is an 8x10 print and it's a satin finish so it's not like hyper hyper glossy but it's definitely not matte. It's sort of in the middle but I say it leans more towards a gloss which personally I prefer because I like everything shiny. There really is no sort of deep explanation of this. I just like shiny things. <laughs> I like the way they look. I think they look beautiful. So therefore I chose a shiny paper. There you go. Um, and so yes, you can see the light reflecting of it. And um, they're really great to frame. I decided to go for the heavyweight paper. Um, just as a um, tiny piece of advice, I can't give advice on prints really because this is my first sort of, well this is only my second set of prints that I've got together. But my tiny piece of advice is to any artist out there to go for the heavier paper. I just feel like it feels more weighted, more substantial and it just feels more luxurious. I did worry initially when I started to sort of order the prints and sort of go through all the system of getting them and everything that if I got them and they were really flimsy that I wouldn't feel happy about selling them so it is I do think it makes a difference and you want to open your prints and be sort of enthusiastic about selling them if they are sort of if they do feel really good they feel luxurious and nice and you know that whoever you're selling them to um, will appreciate them and will enjoy them so I just think it's um, a really good idea to go for a heavier paper. This is a 350 year sem as far as I know. I've signed it on the back um, and the reason being that like I've already signed the painting here I always only sign with my first name um, but I thought that I would sign it sort of in pen on the back. I know some people like to sign prints sometimes over the top of their signature or they do it in the corner. The thing is I just felt like that really distract. I mean I think it would have been all right there but it would look like a bit of a mess and I think if it had been in the corner I think it just would be too distracting because there's so many things going on in the painting um, that I just think it would have looked a bit odd to have two signatures so I decided to sign it on the back. So I hope that that is okay and I've written that obviously on my store and everything and I just think it's a better solution to so that's it my friends I hope you enjoyed this video I certainly enjoyed making it 
Do I have anything profound to say for the new year? Not really. Stay amazing and, and excellent. And thank you so much again for all your likes, follows. Thank you for, to everyone who has followed my store as well and bought my paintings. You are incredible, superhuman, wonderful beings and I adore you. And, I, and I'm sending lots of good cheer to you all and I will stop waffling so you can guy so you guys can all go and enjoy your leftover turkey sandwiches <laughs> so take care everyone and i will see you soon